everybody, my name is Farmer Finn and in today's video we're in the field and it's time to go mowing. Best time of the year. So get ourselves unfolded and we open up. We're going to we were hmm and hand about grouping and not grouping, but because we're going early, it's the 16th of May, which is the earliest I think we've ever cut our silage, ever. It's great. But I think because we're going so early, we want to be, we reckon that grouping it to be too much moisture held in it. So we want to lay it all out flat, give it a day's wilting, and then roll it all in. So now it's just a matter of, of going through all bits and bobs to make sure that everything is self promoting. Front. Okay, so now we go get everything set up from that. Like, like, like that, that's coming in now. No, take the head of a bit. Lay it up a bit. Have you got some way up with that? Exactly. Right, you're gradient is facing forward. A bit less I'd say. You want to turn it turn it back? You want to turn it back when you put it right forward? Yeah. I don't know how you want to do that. Go in, drop it in the hole. Yeah. Drop it in the bottom hole and give you a little bit more. Do it on that. Right. Back. You're happy with how they are, yeah? Yeah, yeah, should be alright. She should be, I think it's it's fairly well where it was set leaning forward, so she should be good that way. Look, if you're clear, if you're clear it, it's yeah. the So the grass, huge amount of grass out here. How many units? Yeah, 25. 25 units of nitrogen has grown this. That's, Look at that. That will turn down on the 2nd of February. Taken off at the... Uh, Taken off at the Patrick's weekend. Yeah. The Patrick's weekend. Um, 3,000 gallons of cattle and pig slurry per hundred in must have been the beginning of end of March end, end of, of April, March yeah and I think it was the 8th or the 9th of April I got 25 units of nitrogen on it yeah just nitrogen nothing else it's it's huge there is that is that has to be some of the best grass that, we've ever caught that'll be actually spoiled now in another week yeah the, the seed heads are just look at them you, have to, really, yeah. you have to you really have to look for them now yeah they're just starting to peep i don't think we ever could say this like that but that's a serious crop for being grazed yeah like everything else we have to call wasn't grazed i i walked out a week ago and i said she's that could do a 10 good days <laughs> it's oh. seven and it's done some job in it so now ground. time to get her on the ground so we're mowing away at the bottom headland Temperature staying down, everything seems fine. By the field behind me, he's happy. We're keeping back from there because in there it could be wet and in about a week's time, two weeks time, we're gonna mow that bale. We have a bit the other side of the canal that we were gonna put in the pit, but it's probably too wet, 12 acres there. The assumption would be it's too wet. And we're just gonna leave it there, dry out more. You can see where I went with the slurry. To the line. You can see the turning points there with the slurry. So we're going to leave that to mow with the other bit and get both of them mowed and we're going to bale them. We have a customer who wants 100 bales of silage and we'll bale 100 bales of silage and then we'll leave the rest of the field for hay. Same as all we do every year. But this year we have the most first cut silage. Last year we didn't have enough silage in the pit but we're not making that same mistake this year. We're going all out. We're, we have about 70 acres 75 acres that go into the pit. This field here is 38 acres. We're in the big field. We're probably leaving maybe two acres of it there. I would imagine maybe a bit less. So that's that's the goal. We're going, that's what our plan is. Um, 
So yeah, it was 70, 75 acres. And we're doing a massive first cut this year compared to other years because it's always at the start of the year when we don't have much demand for grass. It's once calves get out onto grass, out of the shed off mid, that's when we really see the, the grass usage increase as our calves need food. So that's what her plan is is to make a good big first cut and then make a second cut and make a third cut and every time get less and less ground as we'll need to it's kind of balanced between getting it for silage making a lot of bales keeping grass right for cattle ahead of cattle it's a whole lot of things so all's good so far temperature everything is holding nice and steady so we went back in here we'll leave one run for the moors for again just because there's a wet spot ahead of me here and we'll just say to the left of that Everything is going fine now. So we get one round of the field done and then we stop and we check to make sure we've no leaks out of the bed or the gearbox after doing them. And just give everything a one over to make sure everything is looking good. So everything is looking quite good at the minute. Happy days. Avoid that wet spot. We'll avoid this wet spot down here too. Yeah, we'll have a nice bit there for, for the bailer to do in a week's time or so. When insert this into the video here, we will be attending Knobber Fair Day this Sunday, the 21st of May. So if anyone wants to come down and meet us there, we'll be there with beef, merchandise. Okay, we'll see you there. First round of the field done. Huh? I don't know. Huh? This oil? Yeah. I don't know, there should be no reason. Unless it circulates, internally circulates itself while it's running. Because like there's no on and off for that drive. Oh, driving, yeah. and you can't, you're not pumping again itself now, right? No, no, oh. shouldn't be. Because if it's pumping again itself, it'd be pumping out there. Like that oil has to drive all the time. Like there's no on and off switch on it. Yeah. Yeah. Get it on the ground. Yeah. Watch your temperature. Yeah. They have temperature gauges on them anyways, so it'll flash on me if they get Which? hot, the gearboxes. Yeah. That's what these are. Are they temperature sensors? Temperature sensors. Alright, but they're not their scorching. Yeah. There's no there's no um, harder. Yeah. No no, you're perfect. There's no you're happy there is no it's yeah, a bit yeah. wet under them, is it? No, no, they're all right. Don't worry about that. Right, Beds look okay, yeah? Everything looks alright. Actually, they're already here, they're running. You do a couple of rounds, just check to see yeah. if, it, if the bed is over full, it can start to get hot. Hot, yeah. That one's a bit hot. How would it be there? No, all seems. Who's going to mow that other way? Huh? Oh, I just keep going that way. Right, and that's it. That is our setup for the year. Now it's good to get the first run over because it's just it's like ever. It's that. Please work, please work, please work, and first round's done. Back's work done. I might have kept that with a bit. Just the cattle walk. This we did get it rolled and try marked out a stone or two that's in the field. So, all seems good. Just finish off our line here. So just drive till that. And then this is set up our auto steer lines. And that's just ready to go. So now, it's time to get this on the ground. Oh yeah, gotta love silage. rounds are done so again I just want to check on my gearboxes and that look at his rain I think that cloud is spitting at me yeah I think the cloud is spitting at me 
Where the drops, just feeling all these drops. Where is it coming from? Has to be that cloud there. Typical rain on the mowing, anyways. Yeah, all's good there. Just paranoid now, so I am absolutely paranoid. Make sure there's no oil and that I done it right. Because well, I know Father Phil was with me when I done these ones. We done, you can say we done them together. That is lovely and cold. But I just, it's just it, paran paranoia in my head that maybe I didn't do it right and I just need to keep checking. I need to keep checking. No, <sighs> oh, all looks good. Bed's lovely and cold. She's just starting to brighten up the knives there. She's just starting to rub up. Oh, yes! Silage. And the traditional, you cannot mow silage, but smell of grass. The addiction to grass and machinery. Anyways, we keep motoring and we're going to see how long it takes us to mow this field. Relatively speaking, that when you're filming that it takes a bit longer, but it's not the end of the world. So, next job is load infills. So I hit that button and that loads my infills and then that is set from the hedge up there. So I can start here, finish up there with basically all dead straight runs. So we'll mow to that way and then we'll mow back that way. Can we get going? Oh gosh, you gotta love silage. The smell. It is hard, hard bet. And that is that side of the field mowed. Happy day, so now it's mowed the biggest end of it, going back that way. And we're flying it. Absolutely flying it. Everything seems to be going well. So now it's time to fire up the drone.
mowing away here. Nearly there now. Two runs there, and there's not a lot left that side. So we're flying up. I hope you enjoyed the music for today's video. If it was the darkness, I believe in a thing called love. I just thought that was an excellent music for this video. So when we get good videos like this, we spend the money on getting licenses for the good songs. And I think it makes a huge difference. But um, yeah, so anyway, here we're doing 8.7. Sometimes it goes 8.0, oh, we're going down now. 8.9 now. So yeah, we're flying along here to find us. And that is her done. That's the full, well, when I say 38, there's probably two acres at the bottom not done. But that is her done. So let's see, how long did it take us? Drum roll, please. Two hours, 48 minutes. Bloody look at that. Didn't even take three hours to mow 36 acres, you could say two acres on there. That is, that's why we bought these mowers. I seen myself and Uncle Ian, you could spend with the two mowers, two tractors, you could spend, if you're on your own in the field, you were nine hours mowing, like you were forever mowing. It felt like, it, it, honest to God, I feel like you're in the field forever trying to get around them. With the two of us, it was still felt quite long. But now, two hours, 48 minutes, and you could probably take off five minutes, maybe a bit more between putting up the drone, taking down the drone, filming, setting up and that. You could definitely take more off on. Anyways, then to fold up, back to the yard, fill with a lock of diesel, maybe take that belt clip. Then on to the next one. Next one on the list is the Red Clover. It's time to get hit on the ground. And we are here in the Red Clover field. Just starting to go to flower. Huge mop of stuff here. Look at the height of it. In superb order. Lots, lots and lots of clover in it. So it's time to get this on the ground. And when we mowed this before, we mowed it completely out flat. But because of the way the weather is on ground, some spots the far into this field might be a little bit soft. We're going to not mow it out flat so that we leave some ground exposed so that helps dry the ground underneath the grass otherwise it kind of doesn't dry the ground so that's why we'll be keeping it in a little bit compared to last year this is going for pit we're not bailing this purely because it's just the whole hassle of bailing it we're going to just put in the pit clean slate along with everything else and hopefully get three more cuts of bales off it that's the plan hopefully that happens but all we have to do now is just adjust the top links so that we turn her up make sure that we're cutting a couple of inches high so that we don't have any issues with taking the node structure of the red clover all the way down at the grass here we do not want to cut that bit there it wants to be cut up there otherwise plant dies so yeah make a few adjustments and away we go look at the mop of stuff that's here massive pile of stuff no, it's it's done well for for the winter and the spring. Some pile of stuff now. It's massive. So I have Everton on my headland management. So I just push that button to drop Everton and then use my spools to lift. And then all will steer for going up and down. So it's a pretty dead straightforward, easy way of operating. And that is the red clover done so now just rearrange my top links ready for the next one that's a red clover leaf and anyways some mop of stuff some mop of stuff Everything is a okay Touching you Touching me Touching you 
And that's the next field done. Not a big one. This is the field we reseeded with Liffey Mills um, grass seed. And since we reseeded it, we've had an awful issue with these guys. Docks. So the plan is to keep them cut and don't let them go to seed. And they should off with themselves. It's a trick I learned from an organic farmer we work for. Just keep at them. It saves having the spray off. Three in two years, it should be cleaner dogs. What is? It's time to be on to the next two fields, which finishes us off. One field is 30 something acres, 30 ish acres, and then there field seven acres. So, yeah, we'll be on, we'll get the next bit done. So, in the next one, bros after dropping up some refreshments more has brightened definitely say that looking nice bed's not hot which is nice too it's a good sign so bros go do a bit of filming the grass here around the gap there's a quite a bit of compaction from going in and out because this is a big field so a lot of slurry comes out here there's a lot of traffic in and out that gap to do with this block of ground there's 70 acres in this block but there's 30 acres in this big field it might be 32 and I just can't remember for the life of me There will be mowing and 7 acres on the inside But when you get away from it, it comes into a very thick, dense crop of old grass It didn't look terribly great for how long cattle have been off it Compared to the other fields we've just done Well the first two So we're thinking of when we've just mowed and gathered Coming out with the grass harrow And pegging out grass onto it And see can we refresh it a bit so, bro's gonna do a bit of filming after me. I'm gonna get this on the ground. Just there in the second row, just straightening out my runs here, and you'll see we kept out quite well from the hedge, and that's because there's quite a bit of debris in the back of the hedge, and it, this field didn't get rolled. There was too much grass on it when we the ground eventually dried up enough to roll, so we just didn't roll it. The bulls are down there at the minute, and then they'll be coming out here when we get this lifted, and they'll graze off the back swords, have a whale of a time. The other end of the field is another bit of grazing. There's some stones, quite wet, just stay out there with more. I might do another run, I think I might have been a bit too far up. I just misjudged, you could say, um, <coughs> how far down, because we haven't grazed it yet, because we haven't needed to. There hasn't been any cattle on this since last back end, since um, October. There's, there should be more side, there should be more grass out here. Like compared to the red clover, which I know it is red clover, like to see more. If we're getting it down, and that's the main thing. This is the kind of curvature I have with this, and you can see I'm not leaving any grass there. No mains left, and that is the advantage, the one advantage of having the wider mower. Turns like that without ending up with the big pile of um, uncut grass in the middle. The benefits of that, and there's the boys waiting patiently for their for their next move. And we're mowing away, centre of the field, up and down, off the steering. That's right. I mean, it is. It's great for flying the drone off the steer because you can actually fully control it. You're not trying to um, drive and do everything. Much nicer. Much nicer. So we have nice long runs. So I can actually get yeah, it done. You may remember this field, right? This field we usually last two years, three years, we've cut for hay and sold. But this year, 
the car slash were a bit tight on grass or tight on silage and then with the way the grass grew very well this year we didn't graze it at the start which we did last year a couple of different things we said back in it's early it's the 16th of may let's get put it in the pit if as they do say the planets align our plan will be because this is cut early enough now it's only 16th of may it's the mid middle of may that in about by mid July should be ready to cut again for him. I keep running away here, but absolutely love it. It's 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 hard to put into words the feeling that I get, anyways, and I assume a lot of other angry people at Silas Time get when you're actually out hot grass when you start mowing. You know, you're every, all these things start aligning. It's 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 just such a. I can't describe it. Like it, it's such a uh, maybe a runner's high, maybe is what people call it. I don't know. It's 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 to look just looking at the the camera lens there and seeing the moors is just yeah. Oh, this is what you call absolutely loving it. Also, just for anyone who's wondering, why leaf? Why call it leafy? Because the leaf is where all the energy is in the crop. As the crop progresses it starts to go stemmy it starts to produce heads the stem is fiber not a lot of energy or, or nutrition in it that's why like the straw you bet the cattle isn't used but for feet but the, the main amount of nutrition is it and now that is this field done now it's time to move on to the last field the other side of that hedge unfortunately though i have to fold up to get through It'd be nice if the was wide enough for me but it's not it's just going half 10 there now so we should be out here in a boat half an hour if even I have to keep well back from the hedge at least 20 feet because we know there's quite a few stones we'll put down into this one it's, it's quite bad with them we're ready to go again now we get going and we are tipping away here in the last field just finishing up the last round and then up of ups and downs and we will be done but couldn't have home remember this one of the last fields way up the wall and we have it on Joe Fluffich. He he rang saying we're going this field and wondering would the job be brought out he, he'd like to get some footage of, of the wall. So I bro 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 went out with the drone film them everything out of it at the time. It's part of the footage of one of the them videos from it must be two years ago now. <coughs> where I met the 100 acres of hay Oops. but uh, it's on my back horse where we met the 100 acres of hay and uh, it's at the start in the middle I can't remember where it is in it but yeah. me and him spent an awful lot of time on together an awful lot of time that was and i never forget he showed me how to mow and more than the plow would there was one speed and that was full tilt as hard as you could go that was as hard as he could go it was it was a holy terror how quick he could go and that was one of his jobs he that was his job he mowed the spring he plowed and tilled in the summer he mowed and pushed up silage and done he run the combine and they were all his jobs i'll never forget the first time he brought me off mowing we were actually going ground clearing it for plowing, for tillage, and that was fine. I think the tractor plow could have been up there or something. He said he'd done around with me, he showed me what to do. He went off to do something else, and I was mowing the way to find it. Next thing, well, was there a bang, bang, massive bang. I would run into a boulder in the middle of the field. It was a rushy bit of a field we were mowing off just to be able to get going. And I hit a massive stone sticking up out of the ground. And so big was the impact, it pulled the end out of the ram. as the trail John near Moor and your ram that connected the drawbar to the moor frame, you can see. It, it pulled the end out of that and the whole thing just went. I can't remember did I do any damage to the bed or not. I can't. I was supposed to leave them down again. I can't remember what damage was done to the war, except for the ram was pulled out when he heard the bang, it was that loud, and come back out to me, and we, we got up 
bolt or we got a chain or something on it to stop it from unfolding and we went home and then fixed it and that was it but that was the first time I mowed and he showed me how to mow and um, we mowed I um, spent more time mowing two of us and I be mowing in the 6290 with Dave Foot John Deere 1350 he'd be mowing in the 64A with the Governor and our tariff mower and he was just trying to keep up and that's all you were ever doing was just trying to keep up he'd be flat out I remember my last my final year to do the leaving search year the first day back for the that year I went in and then I missed the next two weeks at silage and those two weeks consisted of mowing with him running the two mowers raking drawing and then back into mowing and we just that cycle for two weeks the first two weeks of that I missed that was a great time but yeah unfortunately things change we move on life goes on we keep mowing away this time though three mowers and one man not two mowers and two men she wrote that his our first cut silage on the ground now how long did that take me half an hour to do that for you it's time to fold her up head for home it's just gone 11 we started just after three so we've been 11 to three is eight hour definitely wouldn't have got all this silage knocked in this space of time if it was just me and one more or even me and two more would have been tight me and three more Okay. I have stones to pick in the morning then it's get tractors and trailers ready get the rake out of the yard and we will start the plan will be to start rowing up after dinner so to give the first one to mow today a bit of time to wilt start rowing it give it some more time to wilt and then once once Eric gets back from school really so about five o'clock we'll start lifting then we'll lift some of it tomorrow evening tomorrow night and then we'll lift the rest of it Thursday and that's it first cut silage in the pit for 70 acres mowed road and done all going to plan touch wood i hope everyone has a safe and happy silly season just remember lads all the russian racing in the world means nothing if something happens so take your take your time try and do things right and just be mindful of how dangerous <laughs> this time of the year is with lack of sleep lack of time and the amount of pressure we do be under but hopefully everyone has a safe and happy silly season hope you enjoyed today's video as always please like and subscribe to the channel videos every tuesday thursday and sunday on sunday's video we'll be lifting our own grass the first silage video of the year anyways that is it for me good luck